Let's talk about fractional exponents. Okay, we're just going to basically learn two definitions and how to apply those definitions. So, the definition of b to the 1 over n power, the exponent is 1 over n, b is the base. If b is greater than 1 and n is an integer where n is greater than or equal to 2, then we can say b to the 1 over n power is equal to the nth power of b. Okay? So, if n is 2, we should think square root. So, 3 to the 1 half power is equal to the square root of 3. We write square root like that, but we forget that really it's understood that this is the square root. Okay? We generally don't write the 2 there. So 3 to the 1 half power is equal to the square root of 3. 27 to the 1 third power is equal to the cube root of 27. And we know the definition of cube root is if 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27, then the cube root of 27 is 3 right there. Okay. 625 to the 1 fourth power is equal to the fourth root of 625, which is 5 because 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is 625. Lastly, 32 to the 1 fifth power is equal to the fifth root of 32, which is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. Okay, you should be pretty comfortable with that idea. Let's take that one step further. The definition of b to the m over nth power, again, our exponent is m over n, our base is b. And if b is greater than 1, and m and n are integers, where m is greater than or equal to 1, and n is greater than or equal to 2, then we can say b to the m over n power is equal to the nth root of b, all raised to the m power, or we could say it's the nth root of b to the mth power, okay? You can see these two, hopefully understanding your exponent rules, helps you realize that that's true. But again, we're giving you a definition, so it's saying that is true and that is true under the conditions of the definition. So let's look at how that works. If I have 8 to the 2 thirds power, applying this rule, I get the cube root of 8, and then I'd square the result of that. The cube root of 8 is 2, 2 squared is 4. If I applied this rule to it, I would get the cube root of 8 squared, which is the cube root of 64, or 4. I tend to prefer this first definition, as you'll see in our second example. 3,125 to the 2 fifths power, applying this rule, gives me the fifth root of 3,125, and then I'm going to square that result. Well, the fifth root of 3,125 is 5, and 5 squared is 25. Now, let's say I wanted to apply the second rule to the same problem. So 3,125 to the 2 fifths power is equal to the fifth root of 3,125 squared. Do you want to square this number and then take the fifth root of it? It's not a very efficient method to use unless you get out a calculator, but you guys should be able to figure out the fifth root of 3,125 pretty quickly because powers of 5 are pretty simple to see. Okay, have some fun with this.